Alright guys, so this is me, Konana, and here is my commentary partner. Good Joe here. And uh, we're going to do a post-game analysis on this game, Tester versus I Love OOV. And this is going to be a Protoss versus Terran matchup on the map. Sin Peaks of Bikdu. And right now we see that Tester is spawning in the bottom left and I Love OOV is spawning on the top right. Now, uh, tell me, Good Joe, do you think that be this map, uh, being a two player map, has any effect on the early gameplay since you know where the opponent is? Well, I think any two-player map makes a big uh, makes a big deal on the uh, play that happens in the early game. But really, since Peaks of Baked Do has some weird passing issues for uh, Terran, especially ex except for smaller units such as Marines and Zealots, um, and it's pretty far you're pretty far away from your opponent. I don't think I mean Cheese Rush is definitely viable since it's a two-player map. If that's what you're asking, so um, yeah, that definitely affects. Uh, play it on any two player map. The early game play it, definitely. So right now we see some pretty nice uh, pro harassing here by Tester and um, this will delay the, f the barracks a little bit but would you say that it have any long term effects? Since usually we don't really see any early game pushes or pressures, uh, pressure attacks in early game by both Pr Terran and Protoss, do you think that delaying that barracks will have a, a bad long-term effect, or would it just be a small disadvantage for I Love OOV? Uh, d he only d delayed it by maybe 5-10 seconds, so I don't think that was anything really significant. I mean, it, it'll give him a slight early game advantage, but like I said, the pathing issues on this map um, usually delaying a barracks like that can make a difference on a map such as Longinus, where um, there's no ramp, so it's really hard to defend against ranged goons and goons in the early game. So I don't think that really made any significant advantage given the map. Yeah, and uh, so right now we see that I love OOV is walling in. <clears throat> this is going to prevent early game rushes. Uh, do you think that walling in would have any sort of uh, would it try and hint? Would it hint to Tester that possibly I Love OOV is going to be teching to something very strange or a secret tech? Because recently we really don't see Terran's wall in that much, except on games like on the map Longinus, where it's very easy to take your fast expansion. So, do you think this wall in would hint to Tester that something strange is going on or not? Well, that's, I don't think, from what he's seeing now, he's only seen one factory with his uh, probe that he's keeping alive there very well, but it just died, but I don't think he would really suspect a whole lot coming from I Love OV. I mean, even though walling isn't too common nowadays, it's still it's still done and performed, and given that that barracks was built a little bit late, I think walling in right now would be a good idea for OV, just in case of any sort of early game pressure. So... Another thing I was just wondering about is that we see that most Terrans make about four to six Marines early game, but they really don't use them for anything. They just keep them at their ramp or their choke. Are they there just for defense, or what would you call these units? Because I've pretty much never seen a game where they've been used aggressively, except in innovative builds such as when people such as Nada or Up Magic are playing. So what do you think the early game use of the Marine is? Well, Marines can be involved in a, a number of strategies such as uh, maybe even a, a Gundam Rush or some kind of two factory of some sort, or the a popular FD or Midas Rush as it's called, or whatever. But um, the FD Rush Fake Double uh, uses six Marines in one tank and usually a SEV with a Vulture following close behind with mines upgrading. But these are these marines right now that OOV is using building those three or four are just in case units is what I, as like I like to call them and these just in case units are really just in case a uh, tester decides to do something or decides to put early game pressure on and we 
No, if he moves, if uh, OOV expands and puts his tank and his marines outside, or puts a tank, if he only had a tank outside of the ramp, two or three Dragoons could easily take that, that uh, tank and cause serious problems for OOV, and he would have to pull SCVs and all that kinds of crazy shit. So, having those marines there is really just in case Tester decides to put on early game pressure. I see. And, um, another question I have. Uh, we saw that Tester got a really early natural, and he really didn't have many units. He only had a Dragoon or two. <clears throat> so, would this be a little bit risky? As you said, those Marines were just-in-case units. Well, I really think since uh, I was explaining earlier that the pathing on this map is so strange that no big units such as Vultures or, um, tanks can go through the middle and any marines that went through the middle really wouldn't be a threat but yeah I don't think Tester's really too worried about any early game pressure since that natural is really easy to defend you can stay fairly close to your ramp to your main so vultures don't run up and still be able to defend your natural fairly easily yeah I think that early natural was really a small turning point in the game because uh, Tester would be able to get his macro up quite a bit better than I Love OOV wa would because I Love OOV's command center was a little bit later though it wasn't that much behind so do you think that uh, Tester got a little bit of an advantage or do you think they're sort of e even at this point? Uh, it's a very small advantage but I do think that Tester would be ahead right about now just because he's about to take his third expansion as we can see here but I mean it's it's really not too big of a lead Tester has it's not it's nothing to really say that OV had such a late command center such a late factory that it really caught it's gonna cost him the game or anything so it's nothing really significant yeah and um, a little bit earlier I just saw an academy and um, uh, that's actually actually something I have to say right now is that I love OOV really has a very low amount of factories right now and something that I think really affected this game was he just didn't oh we gotta pause this <laughs>